Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to make you a quick and easy recipe that both you and the kids will love. We're using the Optimum 9200 blender today. You can tell this by the button dash on the front, so it's fantastic um, for quick and easy recipes, especially with the timing button. I've started the recipe already by taking some desiccated or shredded coconut and pop two cups straight into the blender canister or the blender jug. And we're going to start you can just see that that's a whole crunchy kind of coconut. And coconut's fabulous for you, it's a superfood in itself. What we want to do is make that really fine so that we can use the 9200 as a food processor or with food processor functions. So our first step is to pulse the shredded coconut until it's nice and fine. <laughs> a few quick pulses and you can see that we've now got a really fine grainy kind of um, coconut there and what we need to do to finish these off is to add one cup of dried apricots now these dried apricots actually I see they're a nice pretty orange color uh, these contain a preservative preservative number 220 220 has been linked to asthma and breathing problems especially in children so if you would like to make these apricot bites um, and you're not concerned about the orange color you can actually buy organic or um, sulfite free apricots from an organic market or a health food store the apricots won't have the pretty orange color they will be black but they taste just the same We've popped that one cup of apricots straight in the jar and we're going to take the lid plug out of the top of the blender jug today. Now make sure that your lid plug is always firmly in place even if you are doing a thick mixture to prevent any spills and what we're going to do is pop the tamper in and use the 35 second function to blend the apricots with the coconut and make a thick sticky paste. Just one sec. That was 35 seconds and what we've done now is created a nice sticky mixture just like the apricot bites that you buy from the supermarket but these ones have got no additives and no preservatives if you choose the organic kinds of apricots. So all we need to do now is take the, blend, the mixture out of the blender jug, split it between two little containers. This is a great reusable idea. Just using an old takeaway or uh, plastic container, line it with a little bit of glad wrap in the bottom so you can easily remove the apricot bites when they are set. And then just take a long handled teaspoon and spread the apricot mixture into the bottom of the containers evenly between the two. Now another great thing about this kind of mixture is it comes out so easily from underneath the blades because the coconut oil start to come out while we blend them. So I'll split that between the two containers and I'll use the tips of my fingers to press them in. If you don't want to use the tips of your fingers or you're concerned about that, you can put your hand inside a plastic freezer bag or even better, inside a small Ziploc bag and you get that nice smooth finish on the top. But I don't mind it looking a little bit rustic so I'm going to use my hands today for this one. I'll just pop all that in there, uh, nice and evenly. It doesn't have to be in too neatly, but there you are. And I'll do the other one. What you need to do to make this finish is pop it into the refrigerator. Don't freeze it, it becomes a little bit too hard um, to even eat. But just pop it in the refrigerator. In about 10 minutes, they'll be set completely. You can store them in the fridge for up to seven days if you can get the kids to leave them that long in there. They're a great little snack um, during the day. I put, chop them into bite-sized pieces. They can go into the lunchbox or you can even take them to work. So whatever you do with them, two little apricot bites. I'm gonna use, uh, the, use the blender jug to clean itself and we'll be done. So to finish up, all we need to do is pop a squirt, just a tiny squirt of some dishwashing liquid into the blender jug. Now you don't always need to add dishwashing liquid. You can just rinse in water. In this case, because I had that coconut in there, it's quite greasy, let's give it a good clean. So a little bit of hot water into the jug. We put the lid back on with the lid plug, definitely making sure everything's firmly attached in this particular case. And then just turn it on high for just a few seconds. <laughs> So 
that's it. The jug has washed itself. We'll rinse it out. When we're done, we're all complete. You can leave that to drain or dry it up. And it's probably a good idea to dry it up to make sure that no mildew builds up or no uh, waste builds up underneath the blades in the jug. So that's that. Quick and easy, just a few minutes to get all the ingredients, make our beautiful apricot bites, and then wash the jug. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment in uh, the notes below, or like the Fruity TV channel. Ciao for now.